Hey everyone, I'm Corey from Lightspeed, and we're going to be looking at importing products into your Lightspeed Ecom account. To do so, let's go ahead into the Tools menu. Now, in order to do our imports, we need to have a CSV spreadsheet file with our products in the rows. You can find an import template as well as guidelines on how to get that import file set up on our website in the resources section. Let's go ahead and start importing now. So let's upload our CSV. We'll go ahead and pull the file open. And this will upload the CSV file and auto-detect the headers and data types that are within that particular file that you uploaded. Now in this case, we need to select what type of information we're importing. We can import products, customers, suppliers, redirects, brands, and product filter values. In this case, though, we are just doing products. Next, we can decide a few things, like the behavior about how we're going to either update or create records. We have a few options here. We can either only create new products and disregard any existing products that happen to be in that same spreadsheet, only update existing products, meaning we're looking for products that already exist and updating them with new data, or a mixture of the both. It will create anything that it doesn't already have or update existing ones if it finds any changes. Since we don't have anything yet, we'll go ahead and just select Update Existing. Next, there's a few other options for things such as finding those actual values. So in terms of matching on those existing products using that behavior, what is it actually matching on? The article code, the EAN barcode, the SKU, or the product variant ID? Again, since we don't have any products yet, we don't need to worry about this. But it's important that if you are updating existing products, that you have at least one of these four values existing both within Lightspeed Ecom as well as your spreadsheet that you're updating from so that you can match on it. And finally, if we are uploading variants and we need to group them together, which value is it grouping them by? Next up, we'll see all of the field types. Now these are going to try and auto match, especially if you are using the import template, which is strongly recommended as it will save you from having to go in and manually select what field type that is for each individual column that you have on your spreadsheet. In this case, because we're using the template, everything is already matched up. So we really don't need to worry about changing anything although it is always a very good idea to go through and double check all of the values. Once we've got everything selected and everything is created, we'll go ahead and hit continue. And this is now going to start your import. From here, if you have a very large import, it could take some time to work its way through all of the rows. In this case, though, we only have about 52 that are there, so it shouldn't take very long at all. And as you can see, it's already finished and took about six seconds. Now that we've got our products created, we can actually go take a look at them. So let's go back to our dashboard, into products. And we can now see that we have a variety of products that we did not have before. These all came off of our spreadsheet and it was very easy to upload all of these straight off of that spreadsheet file. Of course, we're only using 52 here, but I'm sure you can appreciate the time saving that you would get if you had to upload, say, 5,000 products. And that's the basics of importing products. For more information on other topics, check out our video library.